Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this video is going to be a bit uh, different. I'm not going to do the test in this video, but uh, this will give you guys a chance to reply. Um, for the longest time now, I've wanted to get something up to 100,000 RPMs. And um, I get three machines here that are going to attempt to do that and I've not tested the max speed of any of them so I know as much as you guys do but um, there's a small, medium and large one and this is the large one which I will probably do first work my way down to the smallest and this has part of this has been in my, another video for a cool spin up sounds which is this part here and this here but I've got it hooked up to this here so and I have worked it out um, this one here is a 35 to 1 um, ratio, so this turns 35, 35 rounds for every one turn of this. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty loud. And I have changed from my Cool Sounds video, I have changed the small pulley it goes down here. It was a larger one and this topped at about I think around 8,000. Now it tops at over 9,000. It's over 9,000! <laughs> but um, so this will be the big guy and I'll do this one hopefully it won't keep you guys waiting too long. Um, the second one <clears throat> the second one has more reductions but they're smaller. So this motor is, I believe, uh, about, does about 9,000. It's out of an electric snow blower, just a little guy, and it's a DC. Um, it's a DC motor. It's got permanent magnets in it, and so this first, the first reduction on this one is just a minor chain drive. It's like a one to two reduction. So your starter uh, sprocket there down to a slightly smaller one it's a little hard to turn but I've got these I've got everything aligned as absolutely as close as I could possibly get it so from that reduction there it goes through here there's nothing in here it's just it's just a middle bar I'm just using this as a housing for the bearings so there's actually nothing in here there's no motor there's no armature nothing like that it's just just the middle bar so that comes out off of that side and goes to this pulley and that, then that gets reduced down to that size so you can see your difference here so maybe like maybe like a one rotation to maybe well if I had to make a guess so there's your sprocket there so that's one rotation there I'd say maybe about well one two So a little bit less than three rotations of this to one of that. So like 2.8 or something like that, 2.7. So then that shaft goes through this. And you get a large, much larger gear reduction here. Now I've spent a lot of time... These, this is Everything here is on ball bearings. Uh, except for the actual motor. So two ball bearings in there, two ball bearings in there two ball bearings in there. And I've spent a lot of time, the, the ball bearings in this turn extremely, um, you know, there's almost no friction at all. I've, I've cleared, cleaned all the oil out of it, all the grease. There's no lubrication giving me the maximum amount of um, frictionless bearing absolutely possible. And these turn so freely that any imbalance, whether it's here or on here, it will, it will turn to whichever side is the heaviest side and I've used that to perfectly balance everything including on here and on the end result but so there should be minimal vibration maximum speed so that reduction goes to this is just a um, um, a belt out of a printer that moves the head back and forth over the paper got a bunch of those and there you got they got thread in them so they're they don't stretch and they're very strong and should not snap 
So you got a large reduction from there. As you can see, there's my hand in comparison. So I don't know, maybe about two inches, two and a quarter inches across, down to a very small reduction here. So you see, I turn this here. You can see there's there's quite a difference in rotation speed between the two. Now I have I have run this at low speed. It is freaking loud. So I might have to take this one outside to do it. I'm not sure yet. And um, the re total reduction in this one, for every rotation of the motor, the end result is a uh, 31 rotation. So 31 to 1. And I don't, you don't really know what it needs to be in between. That's about a 2.8. That's probably about 10 or something, maybe a little more, 10 to 12 rotations per one of that. So that's the medium size one. And then we've got the little itty bitty one. So we've got a 110 volt DC motor. I'm not sure what its max RPM speed is. And that re reduces not very much to that size there. And I, I think these were just um, CD drive spindle motors. But the shaft goes right through and it, they turn very freely. So that's a so that's a reduction from there to there, maybe about a two to one, something close to that. And then you've got a good size pulley on this side that's reduced down to this little one here. And again, this also turns very freely. So almost no resistance, almost. And the uh, the reduction for every one rotation of this motor, this here is um, this here is rotating 14 and one half uh, revolutions. So um, that's it for all three. Um, post your bets on which one, if any of them, you think will actually hit 100,000 RPMs. I'm going to use my non-contact tachometer, which maxes out at 99,999. And um, I will post the results video within, like, hopefully a, a day or two. But that will give you guys time to watch it and um, comment. Let me know what you think. If all of them will, if none of them will, if one of them thinks we'll do better than the others. Now is the time to um, let me know.